One of the best covers to date by Fiona Apple is this particular video that I'm going to play for you now. It is the classic song from the Beatles and I remember it well, it, and that's not the name of it by the way, uh, Across the Universe. So that is what we're going to hear. Fiona Apple has been subscribed, I think a bit underhanded, as being wacky and crazy and alternative and people can't keep up with her character as a person. But her fans and her loyal fans have said in concert she gives one of the best shows ever. On my discovery to who this person was as an artist, I'm going to leave people now with their mouths open because Fiona is known as Fiona Apple McPhee Maggot, is an American singer-songwriter, has released five albums from 96 to today, which has all reached the top 20 in the US Billboard 200 chart. She has received numerous awards and nominations, including three Grammy Awards, and you still haven't heard of her? Two MTV Video Music Awards, and a Billboard Music Award. The youngest daughter of the actor Brandon Maggard, Apple was born in New York City, raised alternating between her mother's home in New York and her father's in Los Angeles. Classically trained on piano as a child, she began composing her own songs when she was eight years of age. Her debut album title contained songs written when she was 15. Now, and Never Is A Promise is one of them, and 17 was released in 96 and received a Grammy Award for Best Female Vocal Rock Performance for the single Criminal. She followed with When The Pawn in 99, produced by John Bryan, which is also critically acclaimed and commercially successful and was certified platinum. For her third album, Extraordinary Machine, Apple again collaborated, collaborated with Brion and began recording the album in 2002. However, it was reported that Apple was unhappy with the production and opted not to release the record, leading fans to protest Epic Records, erroneously believing the label was withholding its release. That's the influence she has on her loyal fans and music lovers throughout the world that adore this artist. And why I say putting labels on artists social media wise or others is very unfair as you're going to hear because you're going to be blown away with her interpretation because i have only read certain things that have said it's her best cover song to date so i have no qualms no ifs and buts about she is going to deliver something awesomely special in both the video and the performance so we continue with 2020 to universal acclaim earning two grammy awards for bolt cutters which was released earning her best alternative music album and best rock performance for the lead single shamika which i'm going to react to next but sometimes it's nice to tread carefully when i'm introducing an artist to my channel see the reaction and then go forth if that makes sense and I am going forth now to just let's all listen to this classical song and the wonderful Fiona Apple's interpretation of Across the Universe.
Fiona Apple I I had to I have to say three times I went with this artist on the video and she was smiling I can understand why you were wearing uh, headphones I'm wearing headphones because the old-fashioned type because I feel I just get the orgasmic sound that you are making much better along with a lot of the artists I feature but you in particular Fiona I think was kind of was going to laugh on three occasions during that video and looking at what was going on around you again I can see why you were wearing the headphones and for all Fiona Apple fans there was nobody hurt in the making of that particular video and at the end the fan I thought was quite symbolic in a way because, because I'm sure you needed cooling down whomever idea came up with that um, and no doubt you, you had a part in it um, excellently done it's so different and already in my mind I've got Fiona upside down in a thumbnail I'm going to specially create for this video to go it along the eccentricity that we saw happening around her as she delivered a very folky rock kish pop song in a beautifully different way and this is what's made this particular weekend and we're in October of 2022, just to let everybody know. And I have just downloaded two, two cover songs along with this by different artists. And the only original song I've done is by Ella Anderson, Britain's most in demand vocalist. But I can see why, Apple, you have won so many awards. It all makes sense. It just comes across talent, 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 boom, boom, slap, slap, where have you been? And why haven't I featured you before? Because it is a new channel for me, do music reactions to people. So welcome indeed, Fiona, for covering one of the most famous songs by the Beatles, the most loved as well. I know that David Bowie did a version. I remember listening to it only a couple of, 
couple of years ago it sounds like only a couple of years ago but that isn't too long and it was an epic version but this to me has to be I have to say my favorite and I can see why the critics are saying it's your best cover song I can I I instantly went what an incredible version my head was exploding listen to that that this is going to be on the repeat button when it comes to the lyrics do we need to digest a Beatles song I think but well, this is what my channel is about so I'm quickly going to just go through the lyrics across the universe words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup they were so poetic the Beatles and it's only when you analyze the lyrics to even I realize that they slither while they pass they slip away across the universe pools of sorrow waves of joy are drifting through my open mind possessing and caressing me nothing's going to change my mind nothing's going to change the world nothing's going to change my world nothing's going to change my world on top of that there is a little bit about the song that I really I, I really want to to tell people about I hope I can bring it up just now the song it says has been covered by many artists ah including David Bowie which I was right on the album Young Americans which was out in 75 which featured contributions from Lennon now the composition on one night in 67 the phrase words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper it says came to Lennon after listening to the voice of his then wife Cynthia I was lying next to my first wife in bed you know and I was irritated and I was thinking she must have been going on and on about something and she's gone to sleep and I kept hearing these words over and over he says flowing like an endless stream I went downstairs and it turned into a sort of cosmic song rather than an irritated song rather than a why are you always mouthing off at me the words were purely inspirational and were given to me as a boom I don't own it you know I came through like that they say about this song the flavor of the song was heavily influenced by Lennon's and the Beatles interest in transcendental meditation in late 67 to 68 which in fairness to Apple in the video she plays homage to when she folds her legs and she's sitting up towards the end it's almost like a Buddhist effect a, med a meditative effect that you get and that is why I think it's so effectively done vocally by Apple is so uniquely unique it's wonderfully done and the music coincides with that almost meditative sense that you get that there she is singing with all this chaos going on around her but the words of this song put you in to that meditative trance that you don't hear anything and even when she took the earphones off you also go into that trance with this song so the song as I've said plays heavily it was heavily influenced by Lennon and the Beatles interest in that when the song was composed and based on this Lennon added the mantra J Guru Diva Am Sankrit to the piece which became the link to the chorus the Sanskrit phrase and the Sankrit I'll explain if it will just come up for me it is a classical language of South Asia that belongs to the indo aryan branch of the Indo-European languages it arose in South Asia after its predecessor languages had diffused there from the Northwest in the late Bronze Age and it's a sacred language of Hinduism and is a sentence fragment it continues whose words could have had many meanings literally it approximates as victory to God divine hail to the divine guru or the phrase commonly invoked by the late Marisha Mahesh Yogi in referring to his spiritual teaching or glory to Guru Dev the song's lyrical structure is straightforward three repetitions of a unit consisting of a verse the line J Guru Diva Am and the line nothing's going to change my world sung four times that's why I'm reading this out rather than going through the lyrics 
The lyrics are highly image-based with abstract concepts refined with phrases like thoughts, meandering, words, slith slithering, and undying love and shining of some. And the title phrase across the universe appears at intervals to finish the lines, although it never con <coughs> excuse me, condenses, always appearing as a rising figure, melodically unresolved. And it finishes on the leading note to the Western musical ear, the next musical note would be the tonic and would therefore sound complete. Now, in his 1970 interview with Rolling Stone, Lennon referred to the song as perhaps the best, most poetic lyric, lyric he ever wrote. It's one of those best lyrics I've ever written, he concludes. In fact, it could be the best. It's good poetry, or whatever you call it, without chewing it. See, the ones I like are the ones that stand out as words without melody. They don't have to have melody like a poem. You can read them. And as, a, and as I flick back to the lyrics, we're just going to read a few. Because when he talks about reading them, he talk, the lyrics are sounds of laughter, shades of earth are ringing through my open ears, inciting and inviting me. Limitless, undying love which shines around me like a million suns. It calls me on 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 across the universe. Je gure de va um, which we've just explained. It's continued in that. And that is because the musical structure on a standard guitar, the song is played in D key. However, the recording was slowed electronically, resulting in a lower C tuning to the ear. And the verse beginning words are flowing out is notable for its prolonged note the b and the f and the e m seven minor drop to the dominant chord and the reason i'm being so graphic in the detail is because this particular song warrants it the verse beginning words are flowing out like endless rain and it's also notable for the suitably breathless phrasing and almost constantly eighth note rhythm initially melody notes now, if you noticed how extraordinary Apple's delivery vocally of this song was, she coincided with that authentic way of doing things in the structure of the music, but she did it vocally. And it's what I wanted to point out. That is the talent of today's guest. That is the talent of the song that she's covered across the universe. And I think she's done it absolutely amazingly well done fiona welcome to my channel thank you for listening to the bio of fiona and the song itself and the beatles will always live on when you have artists like this who do an absolute incredible version of the song take care for now